hello guys welcome to fish academy yeah today we'll be testing to know the actual ph of water in your newly constructed concrete pond to actually know if it is acidic in nature or alkaline in nature so i here with me i have the cement and uh, being the uh, uh, specimen i'm going to use for the test so let's move that and then after which you know on what to use to normalize your water in order to have ph7 which is good for your fish yeah so here i have a sample of cement uh, you know after constructing your concrete pond the cement uh, effect will still be there so i have sample here and i'm going to dissolve the cement in water this is my water okay this is how the water in your newly constructed concrete pond do look like and uh, at times you might wonder yes actually if you should put in your fish <clears throat> into your newly constructed pond a concrete pond I'm, I'm, i promise you your fish won't survive because not that the water is not uh, colorless in nature but the content the ph determines if your fish is going to survive or not so trying to dissolve uh, the, uh, the cement because the cement uh, actually caked due to moisture so let me take out sample of water let's take this to be our concrete pond now because of the cement inside this water so i'm going to take a little quantity of water into my test tube okay so let's test this water now to know if it is acidic or or is a uh, or is alkaline in nature i'm going to drop in a little of this uh, 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 ph tester then after which we'll take it down to the chart to know if it's alkaline or is acidic i'm going to drop three drop of this into the uh, test tube you see the color i don't know if you can see this very well can you see the color this is <laughs> this is purple this is the color this is let's take it let's take it st uh, straight to the chart to know this is the chart this is the ps chart this is the ps chart and um, this shows that any uh, water is acidic and this area shows that water is alkaline so we're now going to place this on this chart if you start from here you know that it's not acidic you come down you know that the water is not neutral you come down you know that it's not ph 8.5 you come down you know that it's not ph 9 you come down you know that it's not ph 9.5 then getting here you notice that this water is ph 10 that is the nature of your water in your newly constructed pond which is not good uh, for your fish so in order to bring this back to uh, uh, in order to bring this back to uh, uh, ph7 in order to bring this back to ph7 what you need to do is for you to like in my previous video you do what you just uh, uh, cut some uh, some plant some dry plantain leaves some dry banana leaves or any dead plant 
you just do what you place them inside the water like if i should drain out this water now and put in my uh, uh, dry plantain leaf and leave it for three days if i should test this water which um i'm going to do in my next video or if you should check my previous video you know you notice that i've done things like that in my newly constructed uh, concrete pond and in my renovated pond it will actually change this purple color to a leaf green color light green color showing that the water is ph7 note that if your water is alkaline in nature your fish can't survive in it and that is highly alkaline in nature your fish can survive and if it is acidic in nature your fish cannot survive so you need to bring down the your water ph or stabilize it to ph7 so this is a proof showing that cement or your newly constructed the water in your newly constructed pond is alkaline and not acidic so if if this video is helpful if this if you like what i've just done just endeavor to click on the like button just give it a thumbs up like this you give it a thumbs up and uh, and also if you wish your friends to know this also share this video with them using any of the social media either whatsapp facebook uh, anything at all that you know you can use to share this video share this video with your fellow farmers and uh, also you check you also don't forget to click on the subscribe button below this video and also beside it you will see a notify button looking like a bell also endeavor to click on it so that you'll be notified whenever i upload new video because i upload new videos on this channel showing you what you need to do as regards fish farming right here is my over of lean uh, this is a, a spawning uh, hormones uh, for fish whenever i want to strip or whenever i want to breed my new fish and every other thing so this is fish academy thank you for staying with me on my channel thank you i want to thank you for for some of you that have subscribed to this channel that have i mean making up to over close to 200 uh 2000 close to 2400 subscribers i thank each and every one of you for subscribing and if you have been watching this channel and you have not yet subscribed please endeavor to subscribe to this channel and if you notice that there is anything that i'm not doing well on this channel also endeavor to use the comment box to drop your comment because all about what i need to do is to improve on my channel and not the other way around uh, for those of you that don't like my video quality please i i promise you that with time i'm going to fix that up uh as i my camera i had issues with my camera and every other stuff so i'm, I'm trying to fix that up the audio quality i'm also trying to fix that up and uh, for those of you that are that we are angry with me because of distraction due to a uh, high audio quality uh, distraction i believe i've been able to take that aside now music no longer play louder than my voice on my channel so i thank you very much for staying with me god bless and each and every one of you i'm going to bring to you more videos on what you need to know about fish farming on how to grow bigger fish in your pond on how to hatch and how to do so many things on my channel there are videos on how to uh, produce local feed there are channels on how to pellet your feet. There are videos on where to get your pellet machine. There are videos on how to treat your fish. There are videos on how to harvest your fish. There are videos on how to uh, 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 introduce water into your fish pond, especially when they are at fingerlings level. There are videos on how to uh, uh, neutralize your pond. There are uh, that is to get up to have your pH 7. There are videos on how to set up your fish farm. There are videos on how to connect the white tank if you want to use them for your pawn they have videos on so many things on this channel i have over 90 videos on this channel and all you need to do is to hit the subscribe button is all you need to do is to click on the notification button all you need to do is to like the channel all you need to do is to share the videos and every all and uh, to have all these videos just look below above this video you will see a place written home after home you will see video after video you will see playlist click on that video that place will take you to the lineup of my video of over 90 videos on this channel and once you do that remember this is fish academy once again thank you very much for staying with me